I'm Terry Hill. I work for Arup, who are a global firm of consulting engineers and technology business consultants. I've always been involved in major projects in Arup, whether it's highways in the Gulf, in the Middle East, whether it is uh, high-speed rail projects, development projects across Africa, and also all of the aspects of engineering. I think the role of standards uh, is absolutely vital. It is a leveller. It helps smaller countries get involved in projects as well as the larger countries. Um, and uniformity of standards actually does form a motivator for innovation and creativity. Business needs an, a barrier-less world. Trade benefits people. International trade benefits all uh, companies and society. Um, and we can use standards to enable uh, international trade and, and uniformity. Uniformity not of products, just uniformity of how we deal with each other. Um, and I think that's so important. As globalisation increases and increases, uh, then we've got to make sure that global globalisation benefits all its members, not just the big players, but also the smaller players as well. And we can do that by having standards which can be recognised across national boundaries. You can see here with our work that we're doing in transport, uh, energy strategies uh, and the whole sustainable system. Drivers of change are some of the most stimulating things that we've done. When you start considering what's just over the horizon, uh, what does society need, uh, what technologies are coming along, uh, what are the new demands uh, that we'll be facing uh, in tomorrow's world. Uh, there really is an art uh, and a skill in developing standards uh, that will be applicable to tomorrow's world as well as today's. Uh, and therefore the care is needed, especially in some of the long-term uh, uh, parts of the economy that I've been involved in, that things will endure. You know, part of sustainability is making sure that things can be used for the next generation as well as today's. In Arab and in my personal uh, experience, uh, we've been fortunate in helping both standards authorities and clients and business get the best out of their standards. We have a lot of experience at Arab of serving on drafting committees, uh, on being advisors and doing the research behind standards. So we can actually see a far more enlightened approach that is coming through ISO and through other standards bodies, the national standards bodies as well, uh, of actually seeing that if you have a value-based, business-driven agenda for standards, then it can help. It can help international trade, uh, it can raise standards, uh, and it can bring far more efficiency into the delivery of projects.